Hello and welcome to Wild Heart Yoga Holistic Healing for today's Trauma Release Yin Yoga Therapy class. For this class, we'll be holding poses for an extended period of time in order to release those deepest layers of fascia and connective tissue, releasing that stored emotional energy as well. Today's class is all about creating a safe space to simply show up as you are today, meeting yourself where you're at with compassion. So through this class, feel free to take any modifications you need or change any poses entirely, being sure to listen to your body and letting it guide you through this practice today. So with that being said, go ahead and throw on something cozy, grab your mat, and let's hop into today's class. Hello and welcome to today's Yin Yoga Therapy Practice for Trauma Release and Inner Healing. Let's begin today by just finding a comfortable seat, however feels right for your body today. Maybe even lying on the back, if that feels more comfortable right now. And we're going to take just a couple minutes to begin grounding ourselves into this present moment, tuning into our bodies, and getting out of our minds. So wherever you're at, let's take an inhale, lengthening through the spine, and exhale slowly as you allow the shoulders to drop down and away from the ears. Simply take a few slow and deep breaths here, inhaling into the low belly, Exhaling fully and slowly, letting all the air leave the lungs. Feel your body grounded to the earth beneath you. Feeling the sensation of just gently being held here. Begin to scan through the body just taking inventory before we start our poses today, noticing any areas of tension, pain, or stiffness, maybe anywhere holding any certain emotions or stress. Then just bring your awareness back to the breath again. Throughout this practice, I encourage you to use the breath as an anchor to come back to this present moment Anytime the mind begins to wander or you begin to feel overwhelmed, simply come back to that deep inhale into the low belly and exhale fully and slowly. When you're ready, you can gently allow the eyes to open now if they're closed. And we're going to start with just a seated stretch today. So if you're not already in a seated position, and come to the center of the mat now. Just one leg in front of the other here. Take an inhale, lengthening through the spine. As you exhale, begin to walk the hands forward, maintaining that flat back. Then exhale, releasing the forehead down if your body allows. Here, maybe you want to rest onto a pillow or bolster. Relaxing down onto some support if this is a little too intense for you. Inhale deeply. And exhale fully and slowly. Come aware of what's happening within your body right now. Where is the tension? Where is the sensation happening? With your next exhale, see if you can release any more resistance in the body, surrendering a little deeper. We are going to be holding each of our poses today for an extended period of time in order to target those deepest layers of fascia and connective tissue for many of us store emotional energy. So as we're in these poses, continue to breathe deeply, setting intention to stay in the present moment, to just notice your thoughts and emotions without judgment, letting them flow as they will. 
With your next exhale, begin to walk your hands gently over toward the left, taking this into the side body now. We're just going to take one minute on each side here. So inhale deep into that belly. And exhale fully, letting go of anything that isn't serving you in this moment. Letting go of any emotions, any stress, whatever is coming up. Simply give yourself permission to be in whatever condition you need to be in today. And be reminded that how you feel is not who you are. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, gently walk the hands over to the other side now. Beginning to stretch the other side body, low back a little deeper. Inhale deeply. And exhale fully. Notice while we're here if this side feels any different than the first side did. Once again, just bringing that intentional awareness into the body, noticing what's happening, learning to feel safe in your body again, to listen to its signals, and to be able to give your body what it's asking for. Wonderful. When you're ready, gently walk those hands back to the center and then roll the spine up one vertebrae at a time. We're going to go into our next pose now, which is a single leg dragonfly. So we're going to start by bringing the left foot in. Or if this is uncomfortable on the knees, perhaps you want to just keep both legs extended and that will be fine too. If you're having any trouble sitting with a tall spine, Maybe try sitting on the edge of a pillow or bolster to give those hips a little extra tilt to flatten out that low back. Let's take an inhale as we lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, begin to reach the left arm overhead, reaching toward those right toes as we bend through the side body. As we're here, feel free to take any micro adjustments. Maybe opening that chest a little more. Or perhaps you'd be more comfortable resting the chest down, doing more of just a reach instead of a side bend. As I have already said, this class is all about making this class comfortable and feel safe for you. So whichever variations feel best, take that and then settle in. Find your edge, that place where you feel in a effective release happening and stay there coming out of the mind again and entering into the body as you inhale imagine drawing that breath into those areas of tension wherever they are in your body as you exhale imagine that tension melting away as you surrender a little deeper. Inhale, inviting relaxation in. And exhale, letting go. Releasing whatever you don't need in this moment. To be fully here right now.
continue to stay where you're at, breathing through that discomfort, only moving if you need to back off a little or if you're ready to go deeper. We have a minute left here, so I'm going to leave you some silence to go inward, to just listen to the body. Wonderful job with your next exhale. Release that top arm. Slowly finding a neutral spine once again. Taking your time. Pausing the video if you need even more time in between. We're just going to extend the left leg. And now bring the right leg in. Again, we're going to inhale first, lengthening through the spine. And with your exhale, gently begin bending to the left now as the right arm reaches over. Extending the arm, maybe resting the hand behind the base of the head. Or again, perhaps folding over that left leg, taking more of a reach instead of a side bend. Find the positioning that works for you. And then begin to scan through the body, releasing any areas still holding on to resistance. Relaxing the feet and ankles. Relaxing through the hips, the shoulders. Allowing everything to be heavy. Creating space for that fascia to begin letting go for emotions to begin releasing out of our bodies. So as we're in this practice today, don't be surprised if a flood of emotions comes up while experiencing a deep release. This is very common, especially when releasing the hips or the shoulders, as many of us store difficult emotions in those areas. So allow your emotions to flow as they need to, but try to keep the mind centered on the breath. This practice teaches us to have better leadership over our thoughts. As we practice just being aware of them as they come up, without reacting to them or judging, simply letting them be and pass, Without engaging, this can be such an empowering practice because over the time this can really transform our lives and our minds. So continue to stay focused, coming back to that breath. We have less than a minute left here, so I'm going to leave you in silence once more. Awesome job when you are ready. Gently release that top arm and slowly bring the chest back up, neutralizing that spine once again. And in your own time, 
find your way onto your back for a short rebound. Just gently tucking the shoulder blades down and back, palms facing up toward the sky. Simply feel the echo of the pose. Any shifts that have begun to occur in the body or the mind since the beginning of this practice. All right, friends, we are going to finish with a lying spinal twist. So let's go ahead and bring the legs up to a 90 degree angle at the knees. And the first option we have is simply keeping the legs like this. Or the second option is to take our twisted roots by bringing the right leg over the left and seeing if you can get that ankle wrapped around the lower leg as well. Inhale, cactusing the arms at the sides. As you exhale, allow the legs to gently fall to the left as you look over your right shoulder. Be sure that both shoulders are staying grounded to the mat here. If they're lifting up at all, maybe place a prop under the legs so that the twist isn't quite as deep. Inhale deeply. And exhale fully and slowly. Settling into this twist. Enjoying the gentle decompression of the spine. Begin to scan through the body. Again, noticing any areas still holding on to resistance. And if you can, see if you can release that. Relaxing a little deeper into the pose as you feel yourself gently held by the earth beneath you. Finding a blissful solitude in the stillness. Enjoying the state of simply being without judgment. Inhale deeply. And exhale, tension away, surrendering further. Inhale, relaxation into every cell of the body. And sigh away, sinking deeper. Just over one minute left on the side. Again, go inward. Stay connected to that breath. Go ahead and take one more deep inhale here. As you exhale, gently begin to untwist in your own time. And we're simply going to take it to the other side whenever you're ready. So again, either just have those legs bent in a 90 degree angle and allow them to fall to the right. Or maybe you're gonna take that twisted roots, bringing the left leg over the right this time maybe hooking that ankle around the lower leg. Take another deep inhale here. And exhale, surrendering into this twist. 
Being sure both shoulders are still grounded to the mat, looking over the opposite shoulder to complete this twist. Once I ran from fear, so fear controlled me, until I learned to hold fear like a newborn, listen to it, but not give in, honor it, but not worship it. Fear could not stop me anymore. I walked with courage into the storm. I still have fear, but it does not have me. I once was ashamed of who I was. I invited shame into my heart and I let it burn. It told me, I am only trying to protect your vulnerability. I thanked shame dearly and stepped into life anyway, unashamed, with shame as a lover. Once I had great sadness, buried deep within, I invited it to come out and play. I wept oceans, my tear jucks ran dry, and I found joy right there, right at the core of my sorrow. It was heartbreak that taught me how to love. Once I had anxiety, a mind that wouldn't stop, thoughts that wouldn't be silent, so I stopped trying to silence them and I dropped out of the mind and into the earth, into the mud, where I was held strong like a tree, unshakable, safe. Once anger burned in the depths, I called anger into the light of myself. I felt its shocking power, and I let my heart pound and my blood boil. Listen to it, finally. And it screamed, respect yourself fiercely now. Speak your truth with passion. Say no when you mean no. Walk your path with courage. Let no one speak for you. Anger became an honest friend, a truthful guide, a beautiful wild child. Once loneliness cut deep, I tried to distract and numb myself, ran to people and places and things, even pretended I was happy. But soon I could not run anymore, and I tumbled into the heart of loneliness and I died and was reborn into an exquisite solitude and stillness that connected me to all things. So I was not lonely, but alone with all life, my heart one with all other hearts. Once I ran from difficult feelings, now they are my advisors, confidants, friends, and they all have a home in me, and they all belong and have dignity. I am sensitive, soft, fragile, my arms wrapped around all of my inner children, and in my sensitivity, power, in my fragility, an unshakable presence. In the depths of my wounds, in what I had named darkness, I found a blazing light that guides me now in battle. I became a warrior when I turned toward myself and started listening. How I Became a Warrior by Jeff Foster all right, when you're ready, gently untwist the legs and just find your way into our final Shavasana now. Gently tucking the shoulder blades down and back, legs extended, arms resting at the sides, palms facing up. Inviting the eyelids to close, if that's comfortable for you. And once again, Come into the body, feeling the effects this practice has had on you, physically, mentally, emotionally. Come back to that breath. With each exhale, imagining the body getting heavier and sinking another centimeter into the surface beneath you. Inhale into the belly and exhale slowly and fully. Once more, settling into a deep stillness and surrender.
All right, my friends, I would encourage you to stay in your Shavasana even longer today if you have time. But if you're ready to finish and move on with your day, and begin inviting some gentle movement back into the body. And in your own time, turn onto your right side and meet me in seated. Let's inhale, reaching the arms overhead. Exhale, bring the hands down to prayer heart center. Maybe releasing the hands now, wrapping them around your arms. As we take just a few more deep breaths here. Feeling the sense of being held by yourself. Held by the earth beneath you for just a moment longer. And then gently thanking yourself for taking the time to honor your mind and body in this way today. Thank you so much for choosing to join me for today's practice. I truly hope that it has brought you some kind of relief or emotional release today and that you feel a greater sense of calm and peace. If you enjoyed this video, would you please do me a huge favor and be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. These are two of the easiest ways to support this channel and yoga is a very competitive topic on YouTube. So I really appreciate any of the ways that you guys show me support, whether that's through simply watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, and sharing with your friends. So thank you again so much. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, my friends. I'll see you soon. Namaste.